Dearest beloved divine friends, family, brothers, sisters, welcome to another in the raw archives guy in the free media. And I'm your friend, your brother Haji, Dr. Roshan Khan. I wish to read a very important um, article here in Kaicho News, and it's all the newspapers, but this is the one in my hand at the moment. Uh, page 17, Wednesday, June 23rd, 2021. Mm -hmm. Ali approaches the Islamic Development Bank for aid to support the farmers' strengthen national drainage system. Uh, first of all, I want to say, ladies and gentlemen, never in my life have I seen a president so much concerned with his people. He took it under himself to walk the waters, travel the boats, fly where he couldn't fly by helicopter. Go meet his people, give them words of encouragement and love. All the peoples, not a particular people as we saw in 2020, 2015 to 2020, 2015 to 2020, when only attention was being paid to a particular group, I'm ashamed to say. When opportunities were being taken away People's livelihood and businesses were being ripped from their hearts for some kind of a misdirected vengeance and hate by particular personality in that government. And one particular one with a group of his, a.k.a. the warlord. They would never go anywhere and meet people like this and share and love. And of course, as we saw, they were only looking after their own whom they considered to be their own. And others had to suffer the consequences. And in the development since 2020 to now, we can see how the current government and administration are working for the good of the people, all the peoples, every opportunity, anything, anywhere, trying to care their peoples, beloved, divine, friends families. Now, the president has done so much. He went to parliament by proclamation as president and got several billions of dollars, I think $21 billion to aid. But in the scheme of things, that is nothing, really, due to the magnitude of this flood, the extent of its destructiveness and the pains it caused. So the president now has gone an extra mile. He went into discussion with the Islamic Development Bank for aid to strengthen farmers, strengthen national drainage system. And we must compliment him, the vice president, Dr. Barrett Jagdeo, Mark Phillips, look at that man, and all the cabinet ministers everywhere they're going in the nooks and crannies to meet the people and to give them some peace in their heart and some care and some love. This was truly a catastrophe in our country, ladies and gentlemen. But the government has handled it so well, despite the fact that they ended up taking up an empty treasury and they've been using not even a cent of the oil money, but has been using money that, is, that are coming in for imports, taxation, and whatever, and exports as well, and so on, to help the country. So far, they have not touched the oil money, ladies and gentlemen. Now, let me read you this article, please. And President Dr. Irfan Ali, salutation, sir. Vice President, former President, Dr. Mara Jack Deo, Champion of the Earth, salutations. Prime Minister Mark Phillips, I salute you with all my heart. Priya Manik Chan, Vindya Prasad, Minister Anthony, Minister of Youth and Sports, all, all, all ministers. I can't call you all your names. I am so proud and so much respect for all that you're doing to try to solve the problems and to cure this country. Yesterday, Dr. Irfan Ali met virtually with the President of the Islamic 
Development Bank, Dr. Bandar Hajar, and his team to discuss intervention measures and the bank's support in the wake of the recent floods across Guyana. The head of state raised the need for aids to farmers to restore their productive capacity, support for drainage and irrigation initiatives, and further strengthening of the national drainage system. Discussions also centered on assistance for the affected hinterland and riverine communities. These areas, the president explained, depend predominantly on the mining and forestry sectors, which are now dead, ladies and gentlemen. Mining has been wiped out for now. Other critical interventions identified were the restoration of river dams, hinterland roads and bridges, many of which were destroyed and remain submerged. The president of the Islamic Development Bank assured that no effort would be spared to support Guyana's rebuilding efforts and enable more resilient infrastructure. So they can build infrastructure that is better, that will not suffer with rains or anything of such sort. This is the heart of our president, ladies and gentlemen. Dr. Hajar added that the technical team will be in contact with Guyanese officials to develop, to develop the response mechanism and to mobilize resources needed under these very urgent circumstances. The head of state said that the technical team from Guyana would mobilize and gather all the necessary information to accelerate the implementation of the interventions raised. He also thanked the Islamic Development Bank for its commitment to working with the government and the people of Guyana and for its overall support. Mr. President, respect. To your team of leaders, respect. And thank you for caring so much about our peoples and our country. RKS Guyana Free Media salutes you, sir. Bows to you in humility, respect. I wish for you to know that you are a president who is loved even by numerous elements of the opposition supporters, numerous groupings. God bless you. Take care of your country, take care of your people. Your friend, your brother, me, ladies and gentlemen in Guyana and around the world, Haji Dr. Ocean can in the raw, say thank you and farewell, friends. <laughs>